You have four choices when it comes to collision detection. But what do they even mean? Well, let me teach you. Discrete is the default value and by far the cheapest computationally. It works by checking for collisions on each physics step. The downside to this technique is that fast moving bodies can tunnel through objects between steps, completely missing the collision. One option is to reduce the time between physics calculations. For example, lowering fixed time step from 0.02 to 0.01 will double the calculations in any given time. This will improve discrete hit collisions at the expense of performance and is generally not a good move. Continuous mode ensures collisions, even at insane speeds. It achieves this by sweeping your collider bounds forward linearly to its projected point next frame, like a box cast. If it encounters a collider, it uses that as the impact point, although it's not without its downsides. This mode is quite expensive and it only collides with static objects. By static, I simply mean objects which don't have a rigid body attached. If you'd like to also target objects with rigid bodies, you're looking for continuous dynamic. This is by far the most expensive collision mode and should only be used when you need accurate collisions between multiple high-speed objects, for example, two opposing projectiles. These two continuous modes fall short when angular velocity comes into play, due to the linear sweeping algorithm not being applicable for rotating objects. This is when you'd opt to use continuous speculative mode. In simple terms, speculative is calculated by drawing a bounding box around the current object and the predicted future position according to its linear and angular motion. Any contact points caught within the box are fed into the calculation to ensure all constraints are satisfied. Speculative also works with both static and dynamic colliders and is quite a bit cheaper than the other continuous alternatives. It sounds great, but it too has its own drawbacks, most notably ghost collisions. Two fast moving objects may appear to collide without touching. This is due to the predictive nature of the algorithm, which is based on the current motions of the object. Here's a handy cheat sheet. Use discrete if possible. If you notice object tunneling or your object has fast angular motion, give speculative a try. Although there are drawbacks, it's the next cheapest option. If ghost collisions are a problem, or you're still noticing tunneling, swap to continuous. Finally, if you need multiple fast dynamic objects to collide, use continuous dynamic, but try to limit the amount in your scene at any one time. Subscribe to my channel. Bye!